drumming my pain with his fingers, singing my life with his words, killing me softly with his song, killing me softly. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? <clears throat> Did you hear Dr. Phil and his sidekick? Uh, Dr. Phil, no. I'm not a big Dr. Phil fan. Um, so fill me in. It's been a long day. What's going on? Oh, by the way, Seven Bridges Road. Tell me if y'all know where Seven Bridges Road is. The Eagles wrote a song about Seven Bridges Road. I'm just gonna say this. It's very popular, and I used to, um, I still can. There's actually seven bridges, but when you go down the road, you count seven, and coming back, you only count six. So, anyway, what's up? What's been going on? I've been busy. Anybody? Basically, they are trying to tell me how to do my job. Basically, I have it recorded. Well, yeah. Well, you know, People that don't have jobs generally can't tell people how to do their job. That's quite a conundrum. I don't think that that's possible. Or even the education behind it. So what else? How much information was put out today? Oh, send <laughs> me that. An extension cord? I don't know. I think it's orange. I hope it's orange. The friendly, caring folks are full of shit. What, they suck at putting out information? They got it. She got enough out of mine. But what I thought was, um, she thinks she found you. Um, what I thought was interesting was, um, the, the whole, she got pissed off, so she did that. And you better be glad that's all she did. That was pretty amazing. Better be glad that's all she did. Well, Lots to be said for that. Well, I thought it was a hell of a note. She did it once and turned around and did it again. Yeah, that's right. She said, yeah, that's what she said. We better be glad that's all she did. Mmm. That's a whole lot to say. No, I'm not scared. I am, I am upset that there are some people that are scared and terrified. The other thing was, um, besides the extension cord, was, um, ah, uh, I'm tired, so, and I have to drive tomorrow.
you keep replaying the deputy scene and seems a lot of people don't know certain people like they said well you know that kind of just is what it is but I'll tell you um my thoughts on the whole CPS thing as they want to run around and say I'm calling folks um, I saw today the um, screenshots because I need those of um, Patricia Horton saying that um, she sent all videos in and even put um, the person's name she sent them to and they want to turn around and try to um, turn that around and blame it on me. Oh, the other one, the, the best one was I roll alone. I roll by myself. Well, I'm a little confused because when I just want one beer, I get a solo. When I want several, I get a six pack. So, I'm confused as to how you roll alone, but you're in a six-pack. So, there's nothing solo about a six-pack. Nothing. And that six-pack changes. I think it's pretty set now. The evil is right where it should be. But yeah, no doubt exactly who called. It's kind of ironic that the, per the person that did all this is part of the six pack. And look how they twist that around. Oh, the, the lobby's full? Well, of course. Do you think they're gonna actually come in? Come on in. Because if you haven't noticed, I don't give a shit. I mean, it's it's one note when somebody, I did see this, somebody goes online who I think that they tried to get actually to, to, to lie and do something with me and says, I, well, I talked to my mine and they said that, that nothing's going to happen with that. Good try. But it's just something I have to handle now. Yeah, you sent it to the nursing board. Did you do that today? Well, good. I don't blame you. The whole part about talking to a deputy and then getting pissed and then she's got her little six pack saying, um, better be glad that's all she did. She can think the, um, the lead six for that one. They have to notify the people on her SS. I don't know what SS is. Screenshot? Uh, they have to notify the people on the screenshots, yeah. I was actually talking to a nurse about that today. So when do we expect this visit? What visit? I mean visit like 
I don't care who they send to my house. Oh, like we vote oh, because she said we better be glad she didn't drive. Oh, I don't know. She better not show up anywhere near me. Or my children. None of them. But that's a hell of a retaliation for somebody not liking her fake jewelry. A threat. We better be glad she didn't drive. Uh-huh. But let me get this straight. You pop the child. I'm watching a video. And I say that disgusts me. So that means that I did something wrong. But... Today, there sure is a lot of talk about, I can say whatever I want, it's freedom of speech. Oh, but nobody else can give an opinion? Oh, the, your son's last name, yeah, that was pretty bad. And not to mention how it was said, um... Send me what you got. Send it, send it, send it. Everybody send it. You got anything else? Make sure you send it to me. What'd they do to red, white, and blue? I agree. It was disgusting. Considering that, that they all know exactly who called all these places. And that person is sitting there with them. Well, I just watched that little bit, that end, and it was, um, yeah, um, Daddy should be at scrimmage games. Mama should be there too if they can. What does it mean if you have um, good kids and good children and you also have money? What does that mean? I mean, get the dadgum chip off your shoulder. And then I also like the fact that it was, we like it here. We're going to stay here. And then, what was it, two days ago, it was screaming, yelling, um, slamming doors. Because um, we're in this hell hole. Huh. And then the best is nobody popped that child. Da, 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 da. That was her son. Um, well, why did she tell the deputy different? So, somebody's lying. And don't get me wrong, you can you you can spank your child if you want to. But they certainly can't speak about it because they weren't there. The question is, where was she popped? Um, and was it discipline? Well, I don't know, but I do know that she just wanted somebody to be quiet so she could go to sleep at 1.30 in the morning. So, you know... Discipline? Doubt it. Anger? Maybe. Not for me to decide.
All right, anything else? Like I said, I'll be gone most of the day tomorrow driving. She's mad because she assumed I wanted a mere $20 back on the wish ring and took off from there. Well, she was the one that said it was, you know, complete transparency. I don't know. Mine just showed up back after she told me she wouldn't give my money back. But I did send that um, video to Jewelers today. And after it was WTF, like, you know, and the testing of it. Uh, I don't think that's all it's cracked up to be. Going to a corporation. Yeah, maybe Potter can help her as he refers to her children as the DD, GD children. Those GD children. Who refers to children like that? GD children. And I was listening to another one earlier today, and it was my effing children. I mean, who does that? Unless somebody's just full of anger and hate. I mean, he literally referred to those babies as GD children. And then they turn right around and say, hey, you don't know people. You can't know people if you hadn't been in their home, but yet he knows this one and he knows these. Well, I mean, and that's that was my thing. I mean, yes, you can spank your children. And yes, you can spank your children as long as it's an appropriate spanking in the appropriate place. To compare it to a, a high school corporal punishment situation is just absolutely ridiculous. A high school paddling by a headmaster or a principal or administration is way different than a, an elementary child wanting to go to sleep and getting, what was it, oh, popped. You think so? They're taught what to say now? I saw that. I really don't have an opinion on that, except for um, my opinion, because it's put out to public, is they're begging for attention. like that whole video on that rant where she says she's got earphones on well you know she's a smart little girl one earphone was above her on, on off her ear listening to all that so yeah, it was I in a predicament. What do I do seeing that on a video? And I think Sapphire, I told you that once she told the um she told the deputy that she did it, I felt no obligation because she admitted it to a law enforcement officer, so let him decide. That was my position. Another mandated reporter, another professional might have a different opinion. But for somebody to go online and say, that was her grown son, well, that's not what she told the deputy. So either she lied to the deputy or somebody lied saying, making up a story about the grown son.
wasn't a grown son whispering. I, I, the rest of it was, I mean, yeah, I heard it. I heard it. And, and watch the whole thing. But had she not admitted it to the deputy, yes, I probably would have felt compelled to report it. But once she admitted it to law enforcement, I mean, if they want to report it, they can report it. If not, I mean, that's just my position. Do I think that those children are abused? Probably not. Do I think that they're neglected? Probably not. And it's not... Um. Are they in a lot of dysfunction? Yes. I, I don't know. Yes, they do think they can scare people online from talking. And that's exactly what they've done or tried to do. And, you know, it's just, it's just sick. They, they, you know, it's a whole different attitude within like, three hours and after days of just spewing anger online towards other people as they're telling other people to shut the fuck up. And I also thought about something else. <clears throat> this couple, they were talking about, um, all these things that have been done to them and so they're still talking about it and by the way show some proof that i've ever done anything to you or called anybody because i haven't but they were talking about all these things and <clears throat> what struck me as odd is since um they decided to make sure that me and others were targets. Um, and once they separated themselves from Cropper, and then once they buddied up with the other one, they haven't had any calls either. I mean, no calls to, to them. No more police calls, no more anything. Isn't that ironic? So, you, you, you become BFF with one of the ones calling, and then you strike a deal with the other one that's running the posse, and it stops. But guess what? They don't stop. No, she's not going to go away. They're not going anywhere. That was never their intention. You don't say you're going away and then do hours and hours and hours of videos every single day, screaming, yelling, cussing. Saying you roll alone, but running around with a six pack. I mean, that's just, that's just, yes, that's insanity. Yeah, it's the same words, different day. I mean, the exact same words, different day. So, two and 66 fears, truth hurts. It is the truth. And the only, body, only people that have conspiracies in their heads 
are those two mental cases sitting in a van with an extension cord. Feeding the other evil person. And then they got the they got the, the real caller right there with them. Blaming everybody else. Cause I already told you if I was calling somebody, I'd tell you. And I mean, I think Sapphire, you can say this, but I told you this. I mean, I don't think that those children are abused or neglected, period. I mean, it doesn't. Do I think they're in dysfunction? Absolutely. But that's not a CPS issue. And people say, don't do this online. And I agree with that. You do not call agencies just because or for things you see online but when when there is a a hit like that or a as they said a pop to a child people are going to react in different ways me personally if she hadn't told the deputy i would have reported it and i would have said this is what i saw and it's not up to me to determine what happened, when it happened, or, you know, just what I saw. Yeah, and do I think that yelling racial slurs and cussing like a loon is appropriate in front of, in front of those children? Absolutely not. But do I think that it is a reason for, um... Even on school nights, do I think it's a reason for um, CPS to be involved? No. And, you know, Sapphire, it's like I told you when we talked about it, is, you know, I take the position that they have teachers, they have um, other adults that are around them. I'm sure they go to the doctor. It's just I don't know enough about about that to to about their situation to even say anything except for what I saw on that video and then but she told the law enforcement officer that she did it so then it's up to him Yeah, I've seen a lot. I mean there was one where she was screaming in the kitchen, I mean literally screaming and you could tell that the little girl was scared and she said something like what you know i forget the words but it was like what's going on why is she you know do i think it's right no do i think it's right to sit in the garage and not be able to eat a sandwich and have children in the house no i don't think it's right but do I think it's a child protective services issue? No. Yeah, I think a lot of people watch that for entertainment. I mean, she played a, a clip in one of those videos where she was giving out all of our, um, you know, telling everybody to call. Which, by the way, not real smart because when you tell somebody you call that has no personal knowledge of anything to even say they have knowledge, just do it because I said so. <clears throat> That's pretty, pretty freaking malicious. Um... And you'll notice when she came to me, she was a little bit more careful how she worded it. But, I mean, for y'all. And, and call Don McKenna's, like, the, the her son's job. And, I mean, what the heck? 
And then they want to talk about you can't take rejection. Well, I, th I think that's not accepting rejection very well. Yeah, I think she used her too. And then I'll tell you, I had a conversation. I asked NJ um, where Dawn McKenna was because, you know, she was, her and Tammy were so close. And um, she said something like, um, she wants to come see um, Tammy and Tammy's husband. You know, it ain't gonna allow that because the little boy cusses or something to that effect. And I said, well, did she tell her? I mean, and I didn't buy it, but because if you're friends with somebody, then you would say, I mean, you just wouldn't act like that. But I mean, I noticed it and I asked NJ about it. So, and the other interesting thing today, I don't know if y'all noticed this or not, but, um, she, um, the little BFF who ran her mouth a lot, you know, and said that, um, we better be glad that's all she did. And she also proceeded to, um, talk about that minor child again and sexual orientation. So, you know, not okay. He's a child. And it had already been done once, just like the rest of the, these things. And it's like, that's not good enough for these people. So... All right, anything else? I gotta go to bed so that I can um, get up. Yes, they do it voluntarily. They can't stop. They cannot stop. Oh, and then it was also some crap about it was planned because there was some code or whatever. Okay, give me a freaking break because none of us even knew what we were saying. But again, you can't even you can't even do things like that without some kind of conspiracy in those paranoid minds. And it's just they're just I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, who gets online and screams and yells for freaking hours at a time? I mean, the anger is just, you know, there was supposed to be peace, I thought. I thought that was the whole purpose. Oh, and then she, she also slipped up and said at one point, when she was talking about Pam, she said, um, you had a chance to do the truce or not do the truce. And then you're going to act like, I forget how she said it, but I know y'all have it. Um... She basically talked herself right into, she was saying that, yes, you're targeted because you did not agree to the truce. And then it was, shut the fuck up. So, I mean, that's what they did. I mean, and it's online. Where does it say that there's like a truce? Like, we're going to do a truce. So, you know. What is it, a contract? I don't get it. No, I don't think the six can help her now, but the six are right in there with her. Is what I think.
you don't go accusing people and uh, um, harassing people online when you know exactly who did what you're accusing everybody else of doing. And that's been verified. Yes. I mean, and all this, mind your own business. Damn, mind your own business. Why can't you mind your own business? Justin. And this was the other thing. Um, see if y'all can answer this because I really thought about this today. I always have till they say my name, then they go block. <laughs> um, I thought about this today. So you sell everything you own. You sell everything you own. And you move your entire family. So you're pretty much homeless at that point. You know where you're going, but you're still homeless. And then things don't work out and you leave and you're still homeless so I'm confused as to what they want out of that situation I mean it's kind of like the whole rejection thing that that Peyton talked about you know it didn't work out are your feelings hurt because you were rejected and you couldn't stay for the rest of your life? I don't know. I, I'm just asking. No, you can't comprehend. That's what I told Pam. I was like, um, and yeah, did I believe them? Absolutely. I believe that, um, all these things were happening to them and you know, all these people were doing all these things to them, and they were. I still believe they were. But at that point, you have to take some personal responsibility. And... They completely failed that test. We just want peace. We just want peace. And they've been screaming for how many days? Slamming crap cussing not going to scrimmage games with their son so they can be online I guess it didn't stop and it didn't stop with the other one either Because when they say, call the courthouse on me, and one of these main quote-unquote players has already made it public that he wants to see all the court cases that I've been involved in, two plus two equals four every time. Yeah, keep on keeping on. And again, all those children are in dysfunctional situations. Every single one of them. I don't know how many there are. What, six times two at least? So you got about 12 children involved in all that? That's dealing with this. This You got mamas on conference calls on... on social media you know, the majority of a 24 hour period. It's not rocket science. There's not a whole lot of parenting going on.
not to mention what they're hearing. And I was disgusted again. You don't refer to anyone's children. Do I like that person? No. But would I refer to her children as GD children? No. But that's just normal to them. I mean, they're talking about what, quote unquote, what they call their best friend. And they refer to her children as GD children. But they refer to their own as fucking children. Just in, just talking about their children fucking children that's what they say that tells me that they seem to be a pain in their ass so why would you use that descriptive word for your children ever especially in anger towards other people when you're on a rant well especially any time but And I often think about how much of that did they hear? What does a child think when their parents are referring to them as fucking children? Are their best friend's children as GD children? Oh, what it tells me is they can't feel that loved. And how does that work? Kids, plug in the cord. We'll be in the van. I mean, I, I don't, I don't. It's not a game. It's just a scrimmage. I mean, what kind of daddy doesn't go, go to his son's scrimmage game? My opinion. To sit in a van and, and, and gossip online and prove who is a liar and who's not when the only people that are lying are them. That's pretty sick. Yeah, they actually, I mean, they they say it so much that they, they've convinced themselves that this is, this is, this behavior is okay. You know, if you're not getting along with your family, you just stay away from them. I mean, and, you know, I listened to that today and I was like, okay, first of all, well, only, you know, I would think that I had a problem if I could tell how many times somebody drove by my house because I don't sit in my vehicle with an extension cord running to my vehicle so that I can see all day long. I mean, kind of like, who cares? You don't get along with somebody, you just don't get along with them. You don't have to say, I, won't, I, I wouldn't piss on their grave and all that ugly, just total nonsense. And then spew words like character out of the other side of your mouth. Really? Are you really going to talk about character when you just said you wouldn't piss on your sister's grave? You're going to try to boast yourself and talk about your character and that comes out of your mouth? See, these are the things that I know that I started seeing. Excuses about not being, you know, excuses pref prefacing how there was not going to be a job coming up. It is all on the, it is, it's all on the internet. But I mean, 
you're talking about people that can't even go to a scrimmage game and and it's sad because they can't go because they can't they can't be around people they don't know how to be around people the tires the only thing I thought about the tires was um why don't you shut up and, you know, if if that kind of stuff was happening in my life, I would probably shut up. Just saying. I mean, nothing would be worth proving some, something online to the quote-unquote public to... completely and totally just have have no existence of a life it's very sad oh you are who said that I think I didn't see that but I'm not surprised Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do with the extension cord at that point. Well, and I said that. I was like, who, you know, not working is not an option when things like flat tires happen or anything happen. I mean, that just doesn't cross your mind. But then again, they are a two-adult household, you know, Generally, two able-bodied adults each have their own vehicle in a household. Just for such an occasion, you know. I mean, and I can imagine it would be very hard to work and do anything if you only have one vehicle. But if you don't work, you're never going to get another one. And this is just me. And I'm thinking about, and I was young, you know, I mean, not that young. When I got married... But I don't think that I would have married somebody that we couldn't we we couldn't sustain two vehicles. Well, that's true, Don McKenna. But I'm like I, I can't understand the concept of okay, you live off of others, but you don't have anything wouldn't it be easier to just work and so you could have your own vehicle your own i mean there's nothing wrong with being married and having your own vehicle to drive but i was caught into that too it was oh how much i want to go to work oh how much i need to get back to work oh how much i, I just can't wait blah 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 that was all bullshit. No, I said that, Don. I don't I don't think there's drugs involved. I think they actually did pass those drug tests. I think that they have something to prove and the only the only thing they can the only place they feel like they can prove themselves is in this little box and that's not doesn't even work well for them I mean, and no, I can't imagine. I can't imagine my children 
you know, needing $10, $15, you know, for something and me not having it to give to him. And I know his thought process is, well, kids don't need money. They just need, well, to be, this is just my opinion, to be the best that they can be, they need to be in the best environment they can be, which means they might need some money to, like, what if they need a, a textbook or a book to read for school? I mean, I don't know. Oh, am I being recorded? Probably. I'm sure. But I have to go anyway. Does anybody want to come on? And then, then I gotta go. I gotta go to bed because I'll have to. Um, I got about three and a half hours each way tomorrow. Anybody got anything to say? Road, road trip. Yeah, I gotta take a road trip. Yes, it is. I love life too. College football starts this weekend. Yay. And it's actually cool here. That's probably because Florida's about to get hit with a hurricane. Well, I hope you have a good time. No, not real tired. I have, um... I'm not a roll tied person. But we have one in our family. We have, now we have one child at Alabama, one child at Auburn, and one child at Clemson. Everybody's, a lot of people are Bama fans everywhere. What? Oh my God, what? What are they going to go search down my, um, it's okay. But we just thought about that. I have one, my sister has one, my brother has one, and they're Alabama, Auburn, and Clemson right now. I mean, and that's another thing. I mean, I'm proud of the fact that I can afford to send my children to call. I mean, to college. Yeah, Bear Bryant was cool. That's cool. I remember going to um, Alabama games when, when Bear Bryant was there. I also remember watching Alabama win, was it Kenny Stabler was the quarterback, I think. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Have you ever been to an Alabama football game? If your dad hung out with Bear Bryant, I'm sure you have. I'm sorry you're sick. 
Yeah, thanks. Call me. And, um, yeah, I go to the doctor. You know, I had one that went mm, yesterday. I had one that went Sunday and then one that went yesterday to the doctor. That same stuff, Dom. A shot, a couple shots will fix you right up. <laughs> yeah, Dawn Sapphire says she's been sick too. Oh, he's never been to Bryant Stadium. Not sure where. Yeah, you need to do that. That's not one of my favorite stadiums, but but that might be because I'm not an Alabama fan. But I usually go to, it's not this year, I'll go to the LSU game at Alabama. Who's irresistible? Oh, God. Y'all are going to be boyfriend and girlfriend. No, I just have to say this. Hey, Dom, I know a secret. You're supposed to say, what is it? Guess what my secret is, Dom? I'm going to tell you. Oh, my secret is is that Sapphire is really in love with Billy. She confessed it. <laughs> then I have another secret. You know what it is? <laughs> you know what it is? Oh, come on, Sapphire. You know you love him. Um... Yes, you are a criminal on the run, and we've got to do something. And if you do not, because they showed your house, Dawn, I want you to listen to me. They showed your house, and since you're, um, since you're on the run, um, you're about to go back to the big house because they're going to come get the drugs out of those swimming pools, those baby pools. Yeah, the big house. You know you were in there. We're trying to keep you out of there, but they want to go show in your house. I mean, God, now they're going to find you. You know, it might just be easier to go to your parole place and say, I can't do it anymore. They caught me online. Yes, the baby pools stop growing drugs in the baby pools. Because you're going to have the whole daggum DEA at your house. Next. But it's okay. If you go back to the big house, Sapphire and Billy can come visit. I'm cracking myself up. No, you can't hide them. Because they're going to come with helicopters and stuff. With those big bright lights. You can't hide them. You need to go. You need to pack a bag. Yeah, with infrared. Yeah, they're going to... They're going to... I mean, you're done. They got you. I mean, I was like, damn. They, you know, they have... They have they have, I mean, McKenna's going back to the big house. Yeah, we can start a GoFundMe. 
I might even can raffle off some jewelry. But you know, when they go show, showing houses and stuff, McKenna, you, I mean, you got to go. Oh, you, you sign you up for the GoFundMe? See, if we start it now, by the time you go, you'll have a good old, good old commissary fund. You know, I always heard if, if, to make your coffee taste better, I think that a, um, a candy bar is like a dollar. So, if you get, like, and you'll have, like, we can get you, like, a little lock box. They might let you have it. I don't know. Depends on where they where you end up. But you can buy some candy bars, and every morning when you have your coffee, you can melt the candy bar in your coffee, and it's just like Starbucks. But you got to, like, cut in line and get the hot coffee. But be careful when you cut in line, because... That could be dangerous. Okay, then you just drink the regular old black nasty big house coffee is all I can tell you. I was just trying to help you out. Because they busted you. I mean, they showed your house and everything. The baby pools with the with the with the stuff in it. I mean, those helicopters are going to come down on you. I'm telling you, you need to go. I mean, I don't know what you're hanging around there for. Oh, and I had another secret. Do you want to hear my other secret? I love these inboxes. You want you want to hear my other secret? I'll, I'll have to show the chat. I'll have to show it. Who wants to hear my other secret? This is fun. Because, you know, those chats will get you every time, damn it. Want to know my other secret? They thought they had Sapphire with the nursing license, but you see, she really works at the truck stop as a bathroom attendant. It's all been a scam. And how she gets to all those rallies to see Billy is she catches a ride in the 18 wheelers. You know, I was kind of shocked, Sapphire. Okay, well, I just told a couple. I told y'all not to tell me anything if you don't want me to tell anybody. Yeah, you have to clean the toilets at the truck stop. Yeah, that's what you do. I know a nurse sounds way more glorious, but... Told you not to tell me if you didn't want me to tell anybody. I told you that those chats will get you every time. Well, I'm sure there's a truck stop near there. I don't think you have to have a lot of um, experience or, I don't know, Sapphire, tell me, what, what, what's your resume? And you know, they, they thought that Don McKenna worked for Uber. Oh, please. You know what she did when she got out of the big house? You know where, because you know, she, she got to have a job. Because if she didn't have a job, they'll pick her up right then and there. She makes fries at the Mickey D's.
that's not ooh. She likes it, Sapphire. She loves it. That's why she's still hanging around. They're going to come right up in that Mickey D's and take her away back to the big house. Because she loves making those fries. Yeah, you know, I I don't like to talk about that, McKenna, because, you know, I'm. you really don't have to do that. You can be proud of the Mickey D's fries, and you don't have to go to the, to the street at night. And you're growing it right there in your baby pool, so you don't need to go to the street. That's a habit. Cut it out. It's not healthy. 